Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, depending on what time you're watching this, what part of the world you're in. This is Chris again. Watch Sounds coming at you with another video. Today's video is of my new Islander. This is the ISL 03, by the way, guys. Quick first watch check. I am indeed wearing that Alvin is still hanging in with that. Having on a blue shark strap. I got a couple different blue shark straps for this in the hammy to swap between. Really nice straps. Let me know if you want a video on the blue sharks, by the way. I, I was thinking about doing a review on them. I bought the blue shark with my own money. They did not send those in. But on to the Islander. This was requested. As you know, I have done uh, different Islander reviews in the past. Now, this one on the end, I will be able to show a loom shot now since I, I am able to film with my iPhone 11, the upgraded phone on the loom shot. Now, this ISL 03 is a upgrade on an SKX. Now, a lot of people are saying no, it's the new 5KX. But to me, this looks very similar, guys. The personal opinion, this looks that I've owned every SKX, excuse me, every SKX except for the yellow one. And this one is very similar shape, very similar everything to the SKX. That or they just took the old SKX cases and basically put them on the 5KX, guys. So they're basically the same ones, at least to me they are. And this is everything that you would want on the upgrade, like if you were to mod a, or a regular SKX to your liking. This does have the hacking hand winding NH36 movement with the date wheel here at the 3 o'clock. You have the screw down crown also here at the the uh, four o'clock excuse me guys and then you have the little islander symbol here which is pretty cool guys now this bezel is a unidirectional bezel pretty pretty good bezel action and as mentioned before it does indeed line up mark is a feckler when it comes to that stuff so it does indeed line up unlike the old old seikos do so that is one plus and, and the bezel on this if you can see that glare it, it it's got almost like anti-reflective on it because it's it's pretty shiny bezel kind of make gives it kind of more of a nicer blush look I guess you could say. Now this is a almost like a regular dial SKX. It's really clean here. That's that's a bone of contention right there. There's the Islander symbol. Some people don't like it. Some people do. I kind of don't mind it. I kind of like it over the Seiko symbol. I think it kind of gives the dial a cleaner look. And of course you have the automatic. It is 200 meter water resistant guys. So it is plenty water resistant for what you need everything you'll need now it is a 43 millimeter watch 22 millimeter lugs and as most seikos it does wear small or at least smaller for its size for its 43 millimeter size guys now they do have a couple different options now this this bracelet i haven't really been able to find too much on but i do believe it is like a strap code style bracelet like what you would upgrade to uh if you were to mod or something like that pretty clean design overall no symbols or anything Pretty easy action on the clasp. And then there you see the island of Long Island where Mark is based out of. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little touch. Now the fact that this is, now this does have a sapphire crystal, guys. And the fact that this, I was able to pick this up for 226 bucks on the Black Friday sale. Makes you wonder how cheap they really make these watches for. And this is a major upgrade, over, like I said, over the SKX. Really flush with the cushion style case, guys. It wears really well. I may need to take a link or so out, but I like to wear my watch. It's a little bit loose. And I probably will eventually swap out to NATO's on this, as you know me. No more lately, I have been become a, kind of a bracelet guy. But again, like I said, even at the $299 price, guys, this is still a really great bargain. I feel like one of the best bargains out there for a daily driver. As a matter of fact, I'm going to wear this to work tonight. I do go to work here in a little bit. And like I said, overall, pretty fun little watch. He does have every style and flavor that you want, even a pink one out now. Uh, he may have a purple one. I'm not sure. You may be thinking about a purple one. Mark, if you haven't, um, you, you should take a look at making the purple ones as well. But he does have the orange one, the yellow, the green. And I do know he, for a fact he has a pink. Now, he does also, for the smaller wrist, have these in the 38 millimeter version. And he does have the Jubilee style bracelet option that you can get. So you can get pretty much every single option that you want on these Islander watches, guys. And the 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 uh the style is limitless. You can collect all of them if you want and not really have a lot of money into them. Like I said, even at that three hundred dollar full price, it's still a bargain, guys. Now let me go ahead and um turn off the lights and I will show you the loom shot here. Here is the loom shot, guys. Nothing too spectacular, but it's not bad overall. And as you can see, the bezel kind of looms a little bit as well here at the pit, the indices in the hour and minute hands so nothing too crazy guys but it does work 
pretty good. Like I said, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you've already, if you watched this far along the video, I appreciate you give you kudos. And if, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell as I do come out with content regularly, as well as live streams and also topic videos, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.